Hi, this is video number eight. This is about the role of these medications in managing agitation, benzodiazepines and dexmedetomidine. Let's start off with talking about the benzodiazepines, especially lorazepam, which sometimes is referred to as the emergency psychiatrist's best friend. Because it's useful in really many situations, while being relatively benign, it's fairly well tolerated across the board in most patients, especially when we're using it as a one-time PRN as needed medication. What we find is that the benzodiazepines or lorazepam are often our best intervention when we don't have a lot of information about the patient, when our diagnostic evaluation remains unclear. We know that antipsychotics in general, and even the second generation in its psychotics, which may have a bit fewer risks of side effects or bad outcomes, we know that they still are risky compared to lorazepam. So offering a lorazepam when we really don't know what's going on might be give us a chance, buy us some time to have that person calm down, relax a bit, and it may even be the appropriate treatment. And if somebody is in alcohol withdrawal or benzodiazepine withdrawal, for example, it's going to be the right medication to help them calm down. But it's also going to make sure we're giving somebody an opportunity to give us a better time to make a decision about what the diagnosis is and what the longer term treatment intervention is going to be without the risks that we see in antipsychotics. Recognize that we can offer oral lorazepam and sometimes I've heard staff come to me saying, well, this guy really needs a shot of lorazepam, don't write for an oral. And what they don't realize is that the time of onset for oral lorazepam is essentially the same as intramuscular. We do know that other antipsychotic meds, for example, work faster given as an intramuscular than PO, but it's not the case with the lorazepam. So there's no advantage to giving somebody the shot. It doesn't work any faster. And even if staff are thinking that that's the case, you can just reassure them that the time of onset of oral lorazepam and intramuscular is just about the same. And isn't it better to avoid that needle stick to have a better relationship with the patient? If they're willing to take oral medications, that should always be the way you go with this med. Nursing staff do have concerns at times that maybe a patient is drug-seeking or they're manipulating because they specifically want to get a benzodiazepine. That is something that you need to evaluate and rule out and certainly just don't give the medication out like candy. You can use it as an emergency medication, as a one-time med, and make sure that the staff know that this will not be repeated, especially if you have concerns that this might be a drug-seeking individual. At the same time, if you're only using this as a one-time medication, you're not going to be creating somebody with dependency. You're not really creating a situation where you're, you're making somebody into an addict. There's an exciting new opportunity to treat agitation that's really a different pathway than we've ever used before, and that's one of the reasons it's so exciting. Pretty much for my entire career in emergency psychiatry, which has spanned over 35 years now, when we were talking about treating agitation, we really only had antipsychotics or benzodiazepines available. And in many cases, we're really reluctant to use antipsychotics because they have a risky side effect profile and they also are ruled out for people with dementia, for example, because of the risk of a CVA, they have a black box warning. So because of that, it has been really interesting to see for the first time something outside of the benzodiazepines and antipsychotics that we can use and is now FDA approved for the treatment of agitation, and that's dexmedetomidine, which has been used historically for kind of uh, ICU delirium, but now there's a formulation that's sublingual that is approved and indicated for the treatment of agitation and bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. It's an oral dissolving thin film where you can offer it to the patient. It's not a coercive med. You don't hold them down and put it in their mouth. You say, here, here's, here's this film. Put this in your mouth. It's going to dissolve really fast. They can have a cup of juice or a glass of water with it. And what you see is a really nice improvement in the rating scales for agitation within a matter of minutes, usually 20 to 30 minutes or so. The PEC scale is what's used most commonly to determine response to agitation treatment in pharmacologic studies. 
the PEC is, is part of a greater psychiatric rating scale, but it's really called the excitatory component. It's, it's a measure of the things that are causing agitation, which if you break them down, there's five different parts, excitement, tension, hostility, uncooperativeness, and poor impulse control. And across those five different components, we see improvement in using this new approach, this dexmedetomidine oral film. And what's nice, it has very low risks of side effects. The most common one is somnolence, which some people might even think is a good thing rather than a side effect. Occasionally, but in really small, less than 5%, you're seeing dizziness or orthostatic hypotension. So our key points from this discussion about benzodiazepines and new opportunities for treatment of agitation is that, number one, benzodiazepines are useful in many different aspects of agitation, especially when we don't know all that much about the patient or the causes of the agitation. These meds are relatively benign. They're usually pretty well tolerated in most of our patients, especially compared to antipsychotics. Dexmedetomidine is a new option that's available for the treatment of agitation in a sublingual film formulation with a completely different mechanism of action. And it's been shown to be effective for agitation in patients with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. And so it's really nice to have a new option for treatment of agitation. 